Hello, my name is Leif Sweden, and I'm a botanist and I basically spend my entire life trying to convince as many people as possible that our wild plants are awesome and completely worth our time and attention. Now I've spent the last few days exploring on and discovering all sorts of amazing species that grow here. I've seen loads of things that I haven't seen for years which has been really exciting. Things like hairy birdsfoot trefoil, trailing St John's wort and the really rare coral necklace. Um, so it's been really exciting for me just to explore all these different habitats which obviously cater for all sorts of different species. But one of my favourites of all of these species is one called round leaf sundew and it's just over here. So we've got a few individual plants uh, sort of hunkered down, clustered together in the, in the sphagnum moss down here on the edge of the bog. Uh, now the round leaf sundew leaf is one of the most beautiful structures in nature. Um, it's this lime green colour and they're, they're covered in these beautiful red tentacles, each of which are tipped with a globule of sticky, very innocent looking liquid. They kind of look like they're just covered in dew. Now they're growing in this really uh, nutrient poor area on the edge of the peat bog and they've developed this amazing way of dealing with these tough conditions. Um, they basically supplement their diet with extra protein by catching animals. So this is literally a plant that eats animals. It, you know, feasts on midges, beetles, flies, mosquitoes, basically anything it can get its little leaves on. Now the way it works is um, these sticky globules of liquid uh, mean that when a fly comes down they, they stick to the leaf and uh, this triggers a chemical response within the leaf and there's this wave of electrical signalling which passes through the plant uh, which tells the plant exactly where that insect is located. So this leaf will start to roll up and um, centred on the location where the fly is um, and so that it comes into contact with lots more of these tentacles, really, really firmly securing it in place. And as this leaf rolls up, it gets tighter and tighter and tighter and uh, strangles the fly. And it'll kill it within a few minutes. Now at that point, um, it has to eat its food, obviously. So it uh, sort of releases this cocktail of digestive enzymes, uh, which break down all the soft, juicy, fleshy parts of the fly into this um, absolutely delicious fly soup, which it then absorbs through the surface of the leaf, uh, uses those nutrients for growth, and then uh, unrolls itself again, ready to catch something else. So it's this incredible plant, it does something so cool. And you know, we, there are so many of us who go through life thinking plants are boring, but these people just cannot know about sundews because I challenge anyone to learn about sundew and still think plants are boring.